Hello guys, I'm here in the service call. Um, what happened here was um, the scaffolding. They were taking apart the scaffolding. As you can see, they're doing some modification here. Uh, they're doing the bricks. So when they took off the, the scaffolding that was on this side, it pretty much fell down on, on, uh, on the refrigerant lines. So far, it cut out the, the first one. This one was completely flat on gas. That one will still have refrigerant in it, but I still have to cut it out and redo it, as you can see right there. Um, this is the piping that I took off that line. So, we got everything here. These are our units. This is the other one. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pump this system down. Got it. Yep. All right. Just take off those caps so we can pump it down. Take these off. Oh. Oh wow. You know what? What? I gotta take this off first. Close off that. Uh, That's a stupid setup. Hey, yeah, just shut off. Take off this cap. I can't even pump that down. <laughs> so we pumped the system down. See, iced up here a little bit. And now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and change the dryer as well. Being that the system is open, might as well change the dryer. I got my buddy right here, he's measuring. To put in the, the piece that we already cut. Will it fit? Ay, Dios mío. Okay. I should have gotten uh, slip couplings so we could slip it right on. But it, it worked. Three, three and a half. Maybe less, no? It's gonna be kind of tight. Let's make it, uh, make it 18 and a half. We'll move it. And that's it. Stay tuned. The other side. I'll remove this so I can cut the pipes easier. So I got my cutter right here. Am I giving you a headache with this curtain? Yes, I am, boy. All right. This curtain sucks, man. Actually, it doesn't really suck. It's a good curtain. That's just a little vapor there. Okay, I got that cut there. No, you gotta go higher. Go way higher than that. I'll show you where to stop. We're gonna swedge this piece, make a long coupling. Instead of about using right two couplings. About right there is good, yeah. Instead of using two couplings, we're gonna just swedge a whole piece there. And uh, put on a piece. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one. And then cut this broken one. And uh, get that going. Alright guys, so we got the pipes cut out. Um, my buddy here is preparing a swedged, swedged copper. I don't have one of those fancy hydraulic ones because I don't use this size copper all the time. So I just have a little one when I need it, I can use it. 
And the next thing we're gonna do is um, we're gonna remove these dryers. And I'll replace them with new ones. And, actually, and that's it. Last year, I did a split coil cleaning on this. Uh, it's a two part coil. I had to uh, basically take this thing apart and uh, do a good cleaning on it. Uh, kind of sandwiched all the shit in between the two two coils carrier it's a carrier old school R22 good unit R22 baby I like R22 guys this is a field trip right here I got a 5H, they gave me a 5H uh, dryer. My uh, liquid line is, uh, is half inch ACR. So I don't have reducers. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take a piece of 5H pipe, which is right here, okay? We're gonna add that onto this. It sorta acts like a bushing. I got five eighths, five eighths pipe in there, and the uh, liquid line is half inch ACR. So the half inch will slide right in there. It would kind of act like a reducing bushing in a way. And you could do that with the three quarter ACR pipe for the five eighths, slide it right in. It's a nice little trick for the, for the guys that don't really know about it. Okay, so we're gonna find inlet. I know this dryer is old, it looks old, but it's brand new. I had it in the truck. I might as well just use it, utilize it, whatever you want to, you know, I, I gotta get rid of it. I can't just keep it on the truck. I know it's new, it came out of the box, but uh, you know, it's sitting there. So that's that. Slide this paper right in there. If I could, look like I can. All right, that right there is right there, boy. So that's it. That's how we one drive. We got the other one. Let's get the structures written. The outlet inlet. Now this inlet right here, inlet and outlet. So that's that. I know you guys are saying, oh man, you should use a new dryer, but hey, you gotta get rid of it. <laughs>